hi guys welcome to my channel um i've done a lot of shopping recently and i thought i would share what i've got honestly i've done so much shopping the past i say the past few days it's been arriving the past few days but on payday i i literally laid in bed at half past six in the morning and i spent so much money that i'm kind of worried that i have like a spending addiction um to be honest like i spend so much money um unnecessarily half the time but you know it's life so the first thing i've got is the guilty cosmetics palm violet brow gel i don't know if they call it a brow gel uh the jam for brows now i do have my pink honey which i do love but it's coming to the end and where i buy my pink honey from is tip mouse cosmetics there is a link in the description box down below um but Titmouse decided to stop selling pink honey for a few different reasons um and so they've started selling this instead i have used this once i'm not 100 percent made my mind up on it yet um it it seems good but i think once i really like dig into it it'll be better i'm hoping but so far my pink honey does win just a smidge i'm gonna keep you updated on what i think of this um when i really dig into it because i wasn't a massive fan of the pink honey when i first got it either um so like if i think back to like the point of when i first got pink honey and then like using this for the first time they're on par um it was only when i really dug into my pink honey that i started to love it. so this is the first product i just have everything on the desk in front of me so there's no like specific order i'm just grabbing them as i grab them next thing i've got is the beauty bay skin hit correcting serum aha and pha which is really hard to say with my accent because h's sound like a's or we don't say them at all um so yeah i've got this i'm really into my skincare i love skincare and the beauty bay brand have been doing some really really good products i love their um blemish paste like oh that stuff is amazing so i've got this this is a serum you can use it neat you can mix it into face masks and moisturizers um it is a very gentle chemical um exfoliator so i'm excited to start using this within my existing skincare routine next i've got the coty airspun um powder i've got this because of make me up missa i'm gonna be honest a lot of this is because of make me up missa i love my huda powder but it is expensive so i'm looking for something that is on par so i got this this is the translucent coty airspun um and it says translucent extra coverage powder i think this was 10 pound i got this on amazon it is a big container does it say how many grams no um i used this this morning it comes with a puff inside um which i quite like um yeah i'm i'm very happy with this i think it was about a 10 pound for this tub my huda powder is a lot more expensive so far i'm happy with this okay so i did a look fantastic mini haul um i do now have a code with look fantastic thank you so much look fantastic um which means that you guys get 20 percent off purchases there is a couple of things on there that are excluded but on the whole 20 percent off um i will have it on the screen it is l f t f amy louise i'll put it on the screen it's also in my description box down below too i'm going to start linking as much as i can down there leaving my distant codes and stuff down there too um so the first thing i got on that look fantastic mini haul is this thing this is the abh luminous foundation i haven't tried this yet i've swatched it but i've not actually worn it yet i got the shade 130n which when i put it on my hand it looked very pink and this is supposed to be neutral um which kind of worried me because i'm more neutral leaning yellow so i'm gonna let you know what like how i got on with this um but 
yeah this is this is expensive this is a, quite possibly the most expensive foundation that i earn and i have like nars and stuff like i don't have i have cheaper foundations but i also have high-end foundations this is probably the most expensive but it is vegan cruelty free cruelty free no it's vegan gluten free alcohol free clinically tested dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested i don't know what that means ophthalmologist non-comedogenic suitable for sensitive skin long wearing and no flashback um make me a missile wears this quite often again she made me buy this she has amazing skin but she wears this a lot and it just looks oh, chef's kiss stunning i had to i've wanted to add this to my collection for a very very long time so um yeah i thought i would use my 20 percent off code to get 20 percent off and get this beauty and then kind of on the same well on the same order but um yeah this is like the opposite <laughs> this is my rimmel bb cream i already own this um this is the very light i've got the medium and i've got the light medium is my summer shade the light is like my autumn shade like when i'm starting to lose my tan and then when i'm just like plain gin like i am now with no tan because we've been nowhere for the past year i am very light so i do really like this the fact that i not only repurchased it once but multiple times you know i love this it's actually what i'm wearing today it covers so well this has been on my skin like a good like 14 hours like you can see i've got f f freckles on so it doesn't look as perfect as it could also like it's been on for like 14 hours this stuff is amazing i love this stuff it's about 10 pound it is a nine in one long lasting up to 24 hour hydration it even skin tone you get a fluid ounce which is 30 ml um it says nine benefits in one hour light lightweight long lasting bb cream hydrates for up to 24 hours primes protect helps protect from uv uh, helps minimise and the appearance of pores, smooths, conceals and covers for an even skin tone, mattifies, brightens and provides all day long comfort on the skin. And I fully like, yes, this, if you don't want like a foundation, you don't want like full coverage, this is the thing. This gives me amazing coverage, like it covers my scars, but it's not like, um, it still lets my skin be skin. But it covers what it needs to and i love this thing i am gonna do a foundation friday on both of these um i absolutely love this this oh, this is like my everyday like for my school runs things like that when days when i'm not filming or when i'm at work this is the thing that is on my skin even if i'm just like lounging about in the garden or something i also will be taking this on holiday it's just it is amazing i love it so much next i did a beauty bay haul this is not the end for my amazon purchases or my look fantastic orders but like i said i'm just grabbing things as they're in the pile in front of me so i got this pigment this is the sample beauty um in the shade missa this was on sale for like two pound something 235 i think i literally messaged mr and i was like can i can you swatch uh your pigment for me because this was i believe it was named after missa um i think they did like a collection where they named pigments after um different influences so this is a royal blue quite a royal blue it's not fully royal um but I'm just gonna do a little swatch on the back of my hand now this is obviously going to be better with a primer or a sticky base but just on my hand so that is it where's my camera so that is it just on my finger and then just rubbed onto the back of my hand like there's no base or anything that is just my skin like look at that 
is stunning um but yeah it's got a really beautiful reflect on it this is so that was the shade missa i can't remember if i said next on the amazon purchase i got this freckle pen it's the pudea um freckle pen my friend kerry um who has a channel kerry k you are probably um aware of her from my channel we've done lives together we've done collabs together she found this on amazon it was like five pound i actually used this today and it's so so good um i have wanted the ColourPop freckle pen for a while but i mean it goes on like that but then you tap it out and it just oh, can you see i mean i've done pretty harsh but oh i did them on like right across my face today i went a little bit heavy i'm not gonna lie i went a bit nuts um with the fake freckles but i really love fake freckles so this was just in fact i'm gonna take this out of the box and i'm putting it away right now okay so back to the beauty bay order they had a sale on so i just bought a load of stuff um i got three of their lip liners let's take these out of the box so i got what are these i got ruffle pulp and balloon i will put swatches of these on my hand literally what was on my hand but i've done the pot so it's kind of rubbish but i did take a picture um i'll put that on the screen for you guys to see so these go with the reds lip collection the lipstick collection um yeah i really like their lip liners it takes a second like the first couple of uses and as amazing as you would expect but once you've used them a couple of times and they get to the like the creamy center almost these are really really good and then to go with those i got the berry collection not the red collection berry collection from beauty bear again the swatches on that picture will be up so i got all four of the red set so i got jam juice scrunchy and sauce i believe there's only one of the beauty bay lipsticks that i don't own now because i've got three of the nudes um i don't know why i didn't buy the set of the nudes i really don't but these are i'm very happy to own these <laughs> like really i love a traditional bullet lipstick love it another mess i made me do a purchase is the technic eyeshadow smoky palette and this is just a tiny little palette um all greys blacks if you watch miss her a lot you will see that she uses this a lot <laughs> um it's just it's apparently an amazing palette this was like i think less than three pound again off amazon um i will have a link down below as i said um but she said this is like one of her favorite palettes to use for like a smoky eye and I love a smoky eye, so we're getting it. And to carry on with the Missa Made Me purchase, I actually have this on today. I don't know if you can fully see this. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow. I am getting the matte. This was from Look Fantastic. They didn't have the matte on their website. They only had the glowy. Um, but Boots apparently have the matte, so... I'm going to Boots apparently and doing an order with Boots. Um, these are six pounds and just oh, look at this colour. Um, if you're not aware or you're not a sausage, we all seem to be pretty much obsessed with this colour at the minute. We've got hoodies, lipsticks, now blushes, eyeshadows, like anything this colour, a sausage is gonna buy it, and I'm definitely in that um category it's kind of like a really yellowy golden highlight wait no <laughs> it's more like a subtle yellow highlight or a really yellow blush um it gave me a really nice sheen across my skin i used this like in my temple and the top of my cheekbones then i put a little bit of beauty bear coral um just below just to give my face a little bit more something 
this is gorgeous um it's just look at it so um it's got a really beautiful sheen and i will not be able to put this down like, oh. but when i get the mat i'm going to be able to use the mat um underneath and then put this on like the very tops and use this more like a highlight and then use the mat as a blush but be like really yellow and jaundice why is looking jaundice like a thing at the minute i don't know but i'm here for it um next we have the be perfect what is this even called double glazed gloss this is in the shade sweet spot this was from beauty bear um it was just it's this kind of pinky i don't know it's just there's something about this color and i am not a pinky kind of girl it looks a little bit more orange on the site but it was like five pound in the sale um oh, let's put this on So it is a beautiful pigmented gloss. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. I didn't use to like glosses and I'm actually kind of into them at the minute, which is, I don't know, a bit strange. Um, On the Amazon order, I got this. Um, I don't know, I'm really into just pampering my hair at the minute um i've been doing a lot of masks and stuff just because i noticed that i was getting split ends and i don't know now i've got dark hair i feel like i can do masks and things with my hair more often when it was fully like bright colored um i try not to do masks that often because it did tend to pull the color out of my hair but now it is brown um i don't really have that issue so i got this which i did want to try when my hair was like blue and purple um it is the l'oreal paris Elvive dream lens new eight second wonder water um lamella conditioner long hair transformation 10 times smoother shiny hair silicone free no wear down for long damaged hair um Oh, that's interesting it's got um like measurements down the side um it says instantly detangles of sleeker smoother limbs in just eight seconds which eight seconds is insane um for long hair of your dreams more hydrated shiny hair easier to manage um it says in the shower apply directly to wet hair uh, on the lens only massage for eight seconds and then rinse out avoiding contact with your eyes one dose is 20 mil so okay so it's like that's why the, those are the measurements um so this is one dose for medium texture two to three doses for thick curly texture uh to use use another dose as needed for extra long hair use conditioner if after if needed so you shampoo you use this and then if you need to you can use a conditioner after but um it says you may feel a slight warming sensation when the product activates for even greater results follow with a blow dry that's strange why would you need to follow with a blow dry? Usually like hair treatments are like do not blow dry your hair because heat's damaging. This is like for better results. I wonder if that's because like you smooth out the cuticle with the heat of the hair dryer. Hmm. I don't know. But um I'm trying to do like less stuff to my hair. I don't really like like straightening my hair. Um and since I dyed it. I don't know like having my natural texture just i don't know it, it looks weird like my hair with my natural texture this color though doesn't seem to suit me i don't know why um it's probably just in my head so i have been washing it and then like weighing it down with like leave-in conditioner almost and then blow drying it straight on the cool setting to get it um pretty 
I mean it's pretty straight like this and I, I went over just the ends um like once a week with my hair straighteners but I try not to too much to my hair I want it to be healthy which is the entire reason it's this color so yeah um <laughs> and then I did a iso clean order I don't have a coat but my friend Becky does it's Becky 20 I will leave that in the link for iso clean they had a sale on um where you when you made a purchase you got a re free refill and then they have like different um like packages i guess so i did this one and i have so much iso clean now it is ridiculous so i got the spray bottle i love this like i said i have one of these in my pro kit i have one for my like my makeup um so i'm always using this stuff and i love it um so i got like a lot of iso clean because it was on sale and i thought well why not so this is the 500 ml bottle i do also own the smaller what is this so this is the 250 which i already had before this order then this is the 500 um you can either get the spray top or the dip tray and um, i think there's a one smaller than this i think it's like 150 or something i'm not sure um but so i've got these two i will be probably put in the smaller bottle in like my travel case because i've got one of these in my pro kit one for me and then the bigger one so i'll probably keep this on my desk and then put this in like my suitcase for when i go traveling um but that is not the exciting part so i got the 500 mil and then i did the <laughs> um deal like the collection where i got two eco refills these are i think these are 500 mil as well yep so i got these two so that's a thousand mil plus the 500 that i got and for ordering this i think it was 43 pound with the two refills i got a third refill free so i have like 2000 mil of iso clean this is gonna last me so long um i don't know where i'm gonna store these because they kind of just like are in a bag um and they do that um but yes this is gonna last me so long <sighs> makes me happy i love using this stuff it smells a bit i'm not gonna lie but this is like the best thing for spot cleaning your brushes and i do have a video on how to spot clean your brushes coming up i've just today filmed a how to remove staining from your makeup brushes and i already have a how to clean like wash your makeup brushes video up on my channel so i am gonna have like four different makeup washing makeup brush washing videos on my channel within the next few weeks so definitely recommend checking those out um yeah <laughs> i love iso clean okay so from tip mouse cosmetics i did a pastel roses oh can i show you without dropping them no apparently not where did that go okay so i literally just had to go crawling around on my floor because i dropped one and i couldn't find it um so i got five pastel roses um what the word pigments these are loose pigments i did a bulk um like bundle um i got the shades andromeda peacock uh pony ooh, autumn love and heartbreaker i will insert a swatch on my hand of each of these um of just like images but i have the oh they're just so beautiful so this is heartbreaker and autumn love i do have a video with autumn love and then these two are peacock and pony so peacock's the green 
and this one here is Pony. And then last but not least is Andromeda, which is like a white with a pink reflect. It's just, they're just beautiful. Um, I'll be honest, I've never really been a massive fan of pigments, loose pigments particularly. I did get my matte neon ones from Prescription Cosmetics, which I love. Oh, I love those. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should be like a, a sales person for those pigments. Um, but recently I have been getting into them a little bit more, um, hence why I've got these plus the Missa pigment as well i just i'm really getting into them honestly for the longest time i was like well what's the point just use what you've got in an eyeshadow sorry <laughs> uh but yeah this is my shopping spree this honestly totals like 200 pound um <laughs> which is really bad but i think i think i've got another order from somewhere I just don't remember um but yeah that is everything i hope you enjoyed do you have any of these let me know um please leave a kissy face emoji down below if you got this far because it's nice to see um yeah thank you so much and i will see you on the next one thanks for watching bye